Hey tea heads, this is Don from Mayleaf. In this video, Milan Xiang Tea Grading Flight Box. In this video, I'm gonna be introducing you to this flight selection. We're gonna unbox it, and then we're gonna do a guided tasting. This video is gonna go under the tea tastings playlist. If at any point in time you enjoy this video, make sure you hit it with the thumbs up. The more thumbs in the air, the more tea videos are gonna come your way. And if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel yet, go click that button. I should say from the outset <clears throat> that if you're thinking of picking up one of these boxes and you do not have it in front of you right now, then I would strongly advise you to hit stop, go watch another Mayleaf video and return to this video when you have the box in front of you. Because this experience is designed to be a blind tasting and there will be some reveals as you watch this video which will spoil the experience for you. So I strongly advise you to push pause and come back to us when you have the box. Have you gone? Are you still here? Some of you are still here. Hey, if you wanna watch along, you can, but I have warned you, it's gonna detract from the experience if you watch it before you have the box. Okay, so the thinking behind this box was that I wanted to put you in my position. You are a buyer for Mayleaf, and you have to taste three different high quality Milan Xiang Dan Songs, AKA Honey Orchid Oolong, AKA Phoenix Oolong, AKA Royal Peach Orchid, which is our name for it. Lots of names for it. It's a classic Dan Song Oolong from the Guangdong region of China. All right, let's open this baby up and you will see what's inside. Here we go. <clears throat> so, get into this sticker, and inside you have a letter from me with instructions. So you don't technically need to watch this video, but I figured I would make a video just in case you wanted to watch along. But these are the instructions. Make sure that you start on this page and you do not read this page until it, you reach the bottom of this page. So these are your instructions. And then inside here, <clears throat> we have sample B, sample C, and of course, sample A, which probably won't stand up, oh it will. Sample A of the um, Dan Song. So we've got three different samples. I'm not giving you any information on the pack because we want to taste blind. All right, so the way this experience is designed um, is follow along from here, follow along from the instructions, but essentially you're starting with a couple of 100 mil Guy ones or 100 mil brewing containers. If you only have bigger brewing containers, then make sure you only use 100 mil of water. It's very important that we standardize the brewing here. The brewing times are here, so it's 95 to 99 degrees, so super hot water, five grams per 100 mil, and it's 20 second brews for the first one, and then add five seconds for each infusion. Right, so let's begin. We're gonna start our session one. Now this experience is really designed to be spread out over many sessions. Session one, what you need to do is take sample A, open it up, rip it up, and I know in here that there's already five grams in here, so I don't have to weigh this one. So I'm gonna put sample A into the Keep Tea Gangster guy one here, but before I do that, I just want to heat it up. So I'm going to kind of rush through this a little bit this session. I would strongly advise you to take your time, hit pause whenever you feel you want to shut me up and just go through this session. Really enjoy this session. It's very important that you focus all your attention, not on watching me, but on the tea in front of you. Okay, so warm up your teaware. I'm going to do the same here. Very important to warm up your tea where it just allows you to really get the aromatics of the tea. So we're gonna put this in, that's five grams, and I'm gonna measure five grams, I tell you what, I'll measure it in this guy one, of sample B. So we're gonna be taking five grams of sample B. Oop, a little straggler leaf here. Make sure you get all of them. 
So, five grams of sample B. Make sure you do it accurately. That's five on the nose. Again, oops, some stragglers. I'll get that one later. Right, so I'm gonna empty this water out. And as I said, please take your time. Don't worry, I won't be offended if you pause me. What I'd like you to do is now start to grade these teas. So we're gonna look at them first. Now, I am not gonna speak too much now because I want you to do this yourself. So this is gonna be an unusual tasting because I'm gonna pretty much shut up, but I'm gonna talk you through the process. So first of all, take a look at the leaves. Note the color, note the shape, note the texture difference. Sturdy. Note the texture difference. I'm getting the smells already, but I'm gonna resist talking about them. So texture, shape, color. Notice the differences between A and B. Write down your notes. I've given you a little bit of uh, space here. You're probably gonna need a little bit more space. Grab another piece of paper, start to write it down. So write down the differences in the eyes dry leaf. Next, we're gonna go in with nose dry leaf. This is warm guy one, and you can smell the difference. I will say that these are all high quality Dan songs, high quality um, Milan Siang Dan songs. I'm not going to say anything more than that. I'm so tempted to talk flavor, but I'm not. So again, hit pause, stick your nose in these guy ones, write down all of the smells, aromas, dig into your memories, dig deep so that you can really figure out what the smells remind you of. All right? Okay. Assuming you've hit play again, <clears throat> we are now going to smell the wet leaf. So we're gonna give these a quick rinse. Very, very quick rinse. I don't have a tea pet with me, unfortunately. So rinse out this one. So this is sample A. Take the lid off. We're gonna do the same for sample B. Here we go. Right, take the lid off. And now get your nose into these leaves. You're gonna pick up even more information. Wow. Note the differences. Note the similarities, but focus on the differences. Remember, you are the T grading Expert, you are the buyer for Mayleaf. I'm, in, I'm entrusting you to select the tea that is going to be the best for our clients. Again, take your time, stick your nose in, push pause. Let's really dive deep into this wet leaf aroma. We're gonna pour this rinse away bring out our cups. I should have really poured it into the cup, but I'm going to warm this cup up. And I'm gonna check my temperature. So we're on 88 degrees. I'm gonna bring that back up to 98 degrees on this Bonavita kettle. And then we are going to have our first infusion. As I said, really take your time on this. The purpose of this video is to just walk you through the steps rather than um, give you an, a kind of a demonstration of how I expect you to do the full session. I expect this session, this first session, to last you know, an hour, a good hour of your time, really focusing in on nailing the differences between these two dance songs. Okay, we are up to temperature. So we're gonna now do 20 second infusions, right? I don't have a stopwatch in front of me, so I'm gonna kind of mentally count. I normally get this wrong. I always check on the videos, I normally get this wrong. So I'm gonna take a little bit of time here. Here we go. That's about 20. <clears throat> 
you always include the amount of time it takes you to pour out, by the way. A lot of people ask that question. And so if you've got a slow brewing yixing pot, a slow pouring yixing pot, then, you know, pour early. For those of you on the stopwatch, I know I'm probably a little bit out, but that is about 20 seconds. Okay, so now we have our first brews of sample A and sample B. Take the lids off again, make sure that you're not steaming the leaves. Take a look at the color differences. I'm going to show the camera what I have in terms of color differences. Again, I'm not going to say anything, but take a look for yourself. Is there any difference in hue? Is there any difference in the darkness or lightness? the cloudiness or clearness of the liquor. These are all notes that I would like you to try and write down. Take a little bit of time to do that. Don't take too long because the liquid will change in front of your eyes as it reacts with the air, but get a good snapshot of the difference. So we've done eyes dry leaf, nose dry leaf, nose wet leaf, We've done eyes liquor. Now we're going to focus on texture. You can see the textural effect when you pour, but we'll talk about that in another video. I've spoken about bubbles and things like that. Again, I don't want to lead you on too much in terms of um, affecting your judgments of these teas. Cheers, everybody. It's been about a month since I've tried these teas. So it's gonna be interesting to see how um, my experience may be similar or different from when I last tried these teas in a flight. Not really that much different, I have to say. So again, this is where you really dive in, okay? You're really gonna taste, you're gonna uh, first of all focus on texture, focus on how thick, how thin the tea is in your mouth, and then the next stage is to focus on taste. What is the taste? Don't forget, breathe out when you've got the tea in your mouth. Through your nose, you pick up a lot more retronasal aroma uh, that way. And then after you've swallowed as well, breathe out through the nose. Incredible how much flavor um, you're going to discern through your olfactory um, uh, system. Oh, I so want to talk about the flavors, but I'm not going to. Next up is the um, finish. How does it make you feel? Now, feel free to really focus on the taste, focus on the, the texture and taste, allow the tea to um, start to lay down a coating of the minerality and the nutrients in the tea, and then you can start to make judgments on the finish. What is the finish like? What is the physical sensation of the finish? How um, is the taste in the mouth afterwards? You know, is it sweet? Is it bitter? Is it um, floral? Is it woody? You've got lots of different um, uh, uh, persisting flavors that um, will continue to um, be experienced well after you've swallowed the tea. I'm gonna have a few more sips of each one. So this is what we do when we do May leaf uh, grading. We try and stay as blind as possible. Sometimes that's very difficult because suppliers, you know kind of which suppliers sent. So we try to mix things up, make things as blind as possible and just taste, just experience. And the reason why I haven't done this with all three is because I think that there's so much similarity in these teas that I think that when you compare one on one, you can get a good judgment. But when you have three, you start to get confused across them. Now, when you're doing a flight of very different teas, like when we did our flight boxes at Christmas time, we had very different white teas, very different green teas, and so you could really discern the differences. But with tasting the same type of tea from the same area, same, uh, lots of similarities, I won't talk about it too much, then I think it's better that you do one on one. Now, we don't have that luxury at Mayleaf. We have to make decisions relatively quickly. Otherwise, the batch could disappear. So we have to kind of focus 
really on tasting multiple um, samples of the same tea, but I want you to enjoy this experience. Okay, so now we're focusing on the finish. After we focused on the finish, next step is to smell the empty Gong Dao Bay. Now, again, try to do a few infusions. It will lay down the minerality just like it does on your throat and it will start to pick up a lot of smell. I'm already getting quite a lot of aroma out of this one and this one too, but they are different. Focus in. Close your eyes. Breathe slowly and then breathe fast. <laughs> Lots of different techniques. We're gonna go through all of those. We're gonna focus on a lot more tasting techniques in the future with future videos. Okay, so the last couple of steps. Eyes wet leaf. As they unfurl, and especially with Dan Song, you'll notice that they become brighter, they become greener. They're gonna lose some of those kind of raisin black notes and become more greens and khakis. So this is no good after one infusion. You need to have several infusions and then judge the uh, color, texture, shape of the wet leaves. Again, write it down. I know that this space is minuscule unless you've got tiny writing, but it was a, a place just to write down some notes, really, even better, grab yourself a, a piece of paper, a blank piece of paper, and really dive in. Okay, after that, the last one is very difficult to assess because that's the body sensation. And body sensation, when you're comparing lots of different teas, is very hard to dis discern the differences, right? Because you're feeling an effect, which is the combination of the two teas. So really, this is a nine-step tasting. Eyes dry leaf, nose dry leaf, nose wet leaf, eyes liquor, I'm gonna forget one, uh, <laughs> the uh, texture of the tea, the taste of the tea, the finish of the tea, the uh, smell of the empty Gong Dao Bay, and finally the eyes wet leaf, I didn't forget any. So there you go, those are your nine steps, write them all down and enjoy your session fully. Let the session go and really you know, dive into this tea. And when you are ready for session two, which really shouldn't be the same day, choose another day, Come back and we will go through session number two. Welcome to session number two. I hope that you haven't just immediately gone from session number one to session number two. I know it's tempting, but give your palate a chance to rest if possible. Some people are impatient, I'm one of them, but I would advise you give your palate um, a little time to uh, reset itself. I forgot to say that after session number one, what you should really be doing is making a decision about which one is your favorite. Ir irrespective of price, which you don't know about unless you turned over, just focus on which one you prefer, A or B. So you've got that marked down as well as your tasting notes. Right, now what I'd like you to do is weigh up five grams of sample B and five grams of sample C in your 100 mil um, brewing vessels and go through the same process up until infusion number two. So after you've completed infusion number two, stop. Okay, so go through exactly the same process, smell the leaves, look at the leaves, all of the same steps up until you've tasted infusion number two. Make sure you write your notes about your um, tasting notes between the two teas and then again at this point select your favorite, okay? Push pause, go do that. I'll be patiently waiting until you return. Okay, you're back. So what you should have in front of you are two uh, 100 mil brewing containers with the sample B and sample C. You've done your initial tasting and you've, got, uh, you've had two brews of each tea. Right, now you can flip this letter round and you can read what I have written. So now that you've selected, you've tasted A, B and C, before you look at the information about pricing, about you know where the tea comes from, what I'd like you to do is as a Mayleaf buyer, which tea would you purchase for our clients? So it may be a difficult decision, but you need to select A, B or C. Once you've made that selection, then you can read 
the um, information about the tea. And what's remarkable and what you'll notice is that they are practically identical. They're practically identical. They are identical in season. They're identical in cultivar. They're identical in origin, albeit they will come from different fields in Wudong. So it's Wudong Milansang. They're all Wudong, which is the highest grade uh, Dan Song that you can find in general. So they're all Wudong uh, Milansang from Guangdong in China. They all have the same picking. The key differences are the farmer or producer. So they all come from different producers. The second difference is going to be the fields. So obviously Wudong is a relatively large area and there'll be different fields that will have different levels of quality. And finally, the, the other big difference is the elevation. So sample A is your lowest elevation at 500 meters, sample B 700 meters, and sample C is your highest elevation at 900 meters. And you can see the real significant difference in price, in recommended retail price, from $38 for 100 grams, which is still a high ticket T, all the way up to three times that amount at $113 for 100 grams of sample C. So now, you know the differences of, between the teas and you know the difference in price. Key difference, right? The difference in price. So as a May leaf buyer, you now have to make this decision again. Which of the three samples would you buy for May leaf? So it may be that you were, you were really kind of close between two samples, but now you know the price difference. You think it's definitely not worth that extra price. Maybe your decision remains the same. So given that the price is going to have to be higher for our clients, which T would you select, A, B, or C? Finally, I can get to my tasting notes, and I'm not gonna go through all of them in great detail, but what I'd like, to, like for you to do is to really um, think of two things here. The first is the, 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 the aroma the taste and aroma of the tea. Now the taste of the, and the aroma of tea in a very general basic sense goes from kind of those low base notes to the high aromatics, okay? And low base notes may include things like a woodiness, right? Things like a kind of leather or um, uh, charcoal or those kind of bitter dark notes. And then we move up the scale and we start to move into kind of creamier notes, things like nougat, things like toffee, and we move up through the flowery notes and then we go right up to those very zesty fruity notes. And I think I've got sample A here as well, just so that we can talk about them all together. But in my opinion, sample A coming from low altitude, and generally it's one of those things, lower altitude, it's easier for the plant to grow. It grows a, it quicker, and therefore it tends to make a more strong tea, less soft, less, ele less elegant, more strong, more rich, and tends to have more of those base notes in the tea. Now, don't get me wrong, this is a really lovely uh, Milan Xiang, but on my uh, nose, it is a bit too woody. It's a bit too um, leathery. It has this kind of varnished leather, slightly kind of burnt woods and dry woods. It's got the high notes. You can certainly um, smell the peachiness. You can certainly smell and taste the fruits and the zest. But in terms of a balance, it tends to be more focused on the base notes for my taste. And so therefore, I would not purchase this tea for our Royal Peach Orchid. Sample B, we're moving up the scale, okay, in terms of taste and aroma. Definitely with sample B, a lot, lot brighter, a lot more fruits. I'm getting oranges. I'm getting um, some creaminess as well. A little bit like a duck shit oolong. It's got a little bit of that kind of creamy nougat notes to it. Um, it's a delightful Milan Xiang. Really, really love this Milan Xiang. Um, and it's just got a great balance. It's got real um, high notes, but it's also got those bass notes. It's got enough going on to keep you interested, to give you that strength. Sample C, the highest grade in terms of price, in terms of elevation, slower growing. You may notice that the leaves looked smaller, right? Looked smaller than your samples A's and B's. The smell on this is incredibly addictive for me. 
I could really keep my nose in this guy one for hours. I'm getting apricots. I'm getting real kind of um, uh, osmanthus flowers, sweet flowers. I'm getting those orchids. I'm getting just intensity of fruit, peaches, orange zest, apricots. It does not have the same kind of deeper honeyed woody notes that sample B and sample A has. So what you're noticing here, hopefully, is that the elevation and obviously the producer, there's all the other factors involved in how they produced it. So it's not just elevation, but elevation, I think you can really taste here. And that's why I was interested in creating this experience for you, because as a tea buyer, I'm always kind of trying to assess how these different conditions affect taste. And what I have noticed is elevation has this effect. It has more of a, in very kind of literal terms, a lower taste and a lower aroma profile. Now let's move on to texture. One of the key differences here is again, lower down tends to have a little bit more of a raspier, drier, more woody kind of, um, yeah, it's got that tannic um, texture to it. So it's that dry texture, which you do want to some degree in your tea because that gives the, the, the tea experience more structured. It gives a physicality to the tea experience. <clears throat> but not too much. And in my opinion, sample A is too heavy on this kind of dry texture. Sample B, I found delightful. I really love the balance of, of the softness and then this dry, slightly astringent pulling sensation on my tongue, this physical feeling on my tongue. It really was a delight. Sample C, I found incredibly soft. I don't know how you felt about it, but I found, yes, it did have dryness. All Dan songs will have some dryness. It's one of those teas, but I found it to be very soft. And some people will really love Sample C. And I understand why it's so high priced because of the fact that it's got all of these bright, blossoming aromatics and this very soft, um, very gentle finish. But for me, I found that it, I was just kind of craving a little more of the dryness in order to give me that real Milan Xiang Dansong satisfaction. So for me, when I was tasting these teas, I was kind of flipping between sample C for its brightness, its fruitiness, it's, 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 just, it's just sheer high notes and the real balance of sample B. And I was flipping between the two. Now, what I would like you to do is bring your water to temperature after my long discussion in this. And we are going to brew sample B and sample C again. I love this tea. Those of you who have uh, seen my tea story will know that this is the tea that we uh, did as our wedding tea, Celine and I, when we got married, we did a tea ceremony during our um, our wedding ceremony and we served our um, future in-laws Milan Siang Dan Song. It's a really special tea for me. <clears throat> okay, so hot water. These have had a couple of uh, infusions already. So now we are going to be brewing for about 30 seconds. And to save time, I'm going to kind of know that that's about 15 and then 15. And we're gonna taste these teas again. So that's sample B. And this is sample C. You should have already made notes on the color differences. There aren't that many color differences in these teas. I did find that sample A was a bit darker. And certainly when you look at the leaves of sample A versus sample B and sample, uh, sorry, sample C, B and A, you will notice that it does become lighter as you move down. So sample C in terms of the leaves are smaller and lighter. So it's not just elevation. It may also have been that the roast was done differently on these teas. I'm sure that they were. Right, so now we're gonna serve ourselves. 
sample C, sample, sorry, sample B, sample C, I'm getting confused, and you should have some tea left over. Now what I'd like you to do is take a third cup, and I would like you to put 50% sample B and 50% sample C. So now you've got three cups in front of you, now I'd like you to taste, and I'm going to taste along with you. I get that slight leather, <clears throat> very bright, polished, varnished kind of taste, which I love vinyl. I was, I was a vinyl junkie as a DJ, and I love that kind of vinyl taste to this tea. And I'm getting the fruits. Um, the honey sweetness is there, especially on the finish, but it's not particularly present. Um, I'm getting the dryness, that structure that I was talking about. Very nice. Sample C. Really high bright notes. Honeys, uh, flowers, orchids. Oh, I love the aromatics on this tea. Peach, orange zest, pink grapefruit zest. It's all about the bright notes. It's very soft. There is a slight dryness, but compared to sample B, it's a lot softer. Now, when I did this tasting, I couldn't help but mix the two because I really wanted to see if I could capture the best of both worlds. And for me, when I tasted this, and even now when I taste it, this is the ultimate Milan Siang dance song for me. I'm getting the fruits, I'm getting the honey, I'm getting those really bright floral notes. I'm also getting the vinyl, I'm getting that physicality, that dryness on the sides of my tongue that goes into a juicy sensation. It's the perfect Milan Siang. When I taste sample C next to it, it is just a bit too soft. Yes, it has all those bright notes, but it doesn't have this physicality. And when I taste sample B, delicious, delicious tea, but I'm missing those, those highlights, those sprinkling of cherries on the cake. This is a delicious Milan, but it doesn't have the same perfection as the sample BC combination. And so I was left in a very difficult position because I know I can't blend B and C together because doing so would involve a lot of breakage, a lot of wastage. For such expensive tea, it really would be a criminal offense in terms of breaking that, that amount of leaves. And so I decided instead of purchasing any one tea, that I would give you this experience. And now you have 10 grams of sample B and 10 grams of sample C that you can do with as you wish. So this will give you four more sessions. Obviously you're gonna be brewing five gram sessions. So this will give you four more sessions and it's up to you if you would like to make your blend. Maybe you want a little bit 70, 30, 50, 50, or maybe you prefer to drink them separately. That is your call. You can invite your friends over and you can do this experience again and you can do the blend and they can experience the differences between B, C, and the combination. I did not include any more sample A because even though it is a good, high quality Wudong uh, Milan Siang, I didn't feel that it was high enough grade for Mayleaf. So there you go. The tea grading experience. Please let me know what you think about this. This is a kind of experiment of ours. Do you like more of these educational uh, tea flight experiences? Please do let me know in the comments section below. And please do share your tasting notes and share your thoughts about these teas. Make sure that if you do so, you uh, hashtag Mayleaf Flights, just had to remember. Mayleaf Flights, we'll look out for that hashtag. Mayleaf Flights, let us know what you think. Hey, I don't mind if you disagree. If you preferred sample A, I would like to hear about it. And uh, we can all have this discussion about which is our perfect Milan Siang Danson. That's it, tea heads. If you made it to the end of this video, then make sure you hit it with a thumbs up. Check out our YouTube playlist and let us know if there are any videos that you would like us to make. If you're ever in London, then come visit us in Camden to say hi and taste our wares. If you have any questions or comments, then please fire them over. Other than that, I'm Don from Mayleaf. 
Thank you for being a part of the revelation of true tea. Stay away from those tea bags. Keep drinking the sublime stuff and spread the word because nobody deserves bad tea. Bye.